In this video, I will show you how to make this fun 3D spider on a spider web. To start our spider web, we will choose a dark color oil pastel, then create an X down the middle of our paper from corner to corner. Next, we will create a vertical line from the top to the bottom and then a horizontal line from the side going through the X. Now we are going to make smile shapes. They should be going down and connecting all the way around our spider web. Do about three or four rows of this style of line. Now you see me drawing the rest of my lines. Remember to do downward shapes so that it doesn't look like a flower, but it looks like a spider web. Now it's time to paint. We are using the secondary colors. The secondary colors are purple, green, and orange. Use these in a variety of ways or you can create a pattern. I try to challenge myself to not let the colors touch each other. Take your time painting and try to do your best to color in all of the white spaces. Here's my finished painting. Now it's time to make our spiders. First thing we'll do is use a cup and put it on the edge of our paper and trace it. You can use a pencil or a white oil pastel. Then cut out the body of your spider carefully using scissors. Next, I am cutting out four legs. I am using the other side of my paper and cutting all the way to the top. Next, I'm going to line them up, fold them in half, and then cut them in the middle. This way, I will have eight legs for my spider. Next, I am going to draw the face for my spider. I used a white oil pastel to do two large eyes and a black oil pastel to draw some pupils. And I also added a little white smile. You could also use a crayon for this step. To add a three-dimensional aspect to my artwork, I am going to use an accordion fold. So I am going to take two at a time and go forward, then backward, forward, then backward, and then I will have some bumpy legs for my spider. Now it is time to glue. I am using a glue bottle to make sure that these stick really well, but I am only using a little bit of glue. I am putting a dot of glue on the back of each of my legs and I am putting four legs on each side. I will do this for all of the legs and then I will add a slightly larger dot of glue in the middle of the back of my spider. Then I will flip it over and glue it on. You are gonna have so much fun making these 3D spiders on secondary color spider webs. 